Welcome to uh, chapter five, quick fixes. So this will introduce a lot of different concepts, uh, very quick and easy. A lot of them also limited application. Um, this is kind of the bells and whistles, the cool stuff that Photoshop can do. How many times in real life you'll actually apply them um, or in your professional life uh, is negligible possibly. Um, but there's very, it's always good to know what tools you have in your belt, even if you don't use them all the time. Um, you know, I've been working in the software since its inception, and not to be a braggart, but um, I still don't know things that it does, and they add things all the time. And um, expertise of use is practice and exploration. Um, you know, just this week at work, I got schooled on something. Um, the, the the new comping uh, la layers combined with the layers of um, different states of animation for uh, web banners and buttons. So whatever you learn, there's so much more to learn. Um, and really that's the beauty of it, in fact. So I'll just demo a few things, the panorama, the boy, and um, the warp perspective. Quickly, this is a pretty shady a shoddy image if you look here. Um, we've got red eye, we've got lower quality, you've got some pixelation here. Um, it's dark, not the best uh, f-stop on the camera, taken in bad lighting with a, probably a poor f cell phone. Okay, so real quick, my tools change with my setting. I'm pretty much, I think last demo I was on photography. I'm gonna reset to painting. Um, because I'm a little bit more familiar with it just setting in this way. I will scroll through them all and see what this happens to be defaulting to something. Your workspace will change the order of your tools and show what's showing. Last time I had the spot healing and the patch brushes out when we worked on the um, Venice photo. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, Florence photo of the family on the bridge from the 70s. So here I'm going to go underneath the spot healing tool, which is the little band-aid with the whoosh. Wherever you find that, depending on your settings that you're comfortable working in your um, area, here we have um, the little eye with the plus, the red eye tool. So this is a wow factor. Get your crosshairs over the eye, hit the pupil, and red eye is magically gone. This is such a common thing in photos, they just made it into a thing. Um, now, the, the book will show you different moves. I always go into my background, duplicate layer, call one retouch, turn off the eyeball, especially while you're new, because sometimes people will jump between the layers and wonder why they can't see certain things because there's basically like the double mint twins. There's one layer is directly mathematically on top of the other and you can't see a difference until you start changing things. But you see here I'm highlighted on the light gray on that retouch layer. So I'm gonna do a quick levels move, command L. Or you could say, if you want to keep it as a non-damaging new adjustment layer, levels, try that first. Um, gonna do some cheats really quickly with highlight. Too strong, that's why they're cheats. Maybe go to a dark area. We don't want to darken this guy at all. Let's try a mid-range of something that's green but could possibly be gray. That brightens up my hue a little bit. I'm turning this into my mid-range. My colors are popping, not too helpful. Um, gonna go in here. And I'm going to, ooh, how did we do that? Sorry, I didn't miss something there. So, image, uh, layer, new adjustment layer, curves. I'm just gonna pull something out. This is very tiny. So this is your histogram. I usually um, color correct in CMYK personally um, because that's my jam. I came as a print retoucher originally. Um, but you, I can't convert it from RGB to CMYK now because um, 
there's layers and then we'll lose our layers. But the other thing you could do is you can always swap back and forth between them. So if this needs to be, I'm just gonna make a big move there though and lighten this up. And then you can see the move there. I'm going to say layer, new adjustment layer. Let's try exposure real quick. Just play with it. Always have preview on. That's still looking like we have a flash on now, but still our background is just a shot. Um, so let's try that and see if it's any better. So you'll see me do this turn on, turn off. So we got some contrast there. Not always a good thing when this pixelation is coming out. Um, but at least it's not so muddy to see that gray cast. Now it's gone. So that's a nice help. So the idea of this photo is it's in pretty bad shape. Um, but those are the changes. Um, just a real quick intro to that. These smart uh, eyedroppers, shadow, mid-range, highlight. Um, these are smart things that, that doesn't always work. It's always worth a shot. Uh, you could go in and you could separate out your cyan, your red, and your green. That'll give it a little more believability. But here we've improved from where we started. Contrast is always an improvement and brightening and lightening, something that's very, very dark.